Hey guys, what we're going to be looking at now is graphing basic trig functions. All the functions that we look at are going to be of this form. Y equals A sine BX minus C plus D, or Y equals A cosine BX minus C plus D. Each of those letters, A, B, C, and D, help us figure out a different piece of how we can graph our trig function. So A represents the amplitude. The amplitude is half the distance between the maximum and minimum values of the function. So that's pretty much going to tell you how high above the x-axis and how far below the x-axis you're going to go if you don't have a vertical shift going on. Amplitude is A, the frequency, the number of full cycles completed from 0 to 2 pi is the B value. The phase shift is going to be equal to negative C over the absolute value of B. The midline is going to come from the D value. So the midline is going to be Y equals D. And D also gives us our vertical shift. So that's going to tell you how much you need to shift your graph up or down. The period is equal to 2 pi over B. And the period is how long it takes the graph to complete one full sine or cosine curve. The last thing that we're going to need to graph our trig functions is the X scale. So the X scale is going to tell us how we need to label our X axis to correctly graph whatever it is that we're graphing. The X scale is equal to the period over four. Let's use all of this information to graph just our basic sine and cosine curves. Let's first graph sine X. So for Y equals sine X, A is one. B is one, right? Number in front of sine is one, number in front of X is one, that's A and B. The period is two pi over B, so that's just gonna be two pi. My X scale is the period over four, so that's two pi over four, which is pi over two. There's no phase shift, I'm not adding or subtracting anything to X, and there's no vertical shift, so this is all I need. So I'm gonna graph this thing from zero to two pi, like the directions say. My amplitude is one, that tells me how to label my y-axis, positive one and negative one. The x scale is telling me how to label my x-axis. So I need to put a x value every pi over two units until I get to two pi. So that means I need one over two, two over two, three over two, four over two. I stop at four over two because I want two. So I'm gonna do pi over two, one over two, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. This x scale tells me that at each of these values, I need either a maximum, a minimum, or an x-intercept. Sine is always going to start at 0, 0. So I'm going to be at 0. And I know, again, from the unit circle, that sine of pi over 2 is 1. Sine of pi is 0. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. And sine of 2 pi is 0. So then if I just fill this in, there's my graph of y equals sine x. I'm going to do the same thing for cosine x. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1. The period is 2 pi, 2 pi over b. And then the x scale is the period over 4. So 2 pi over 4 is, again, pi over 2. So my x scale is going to be the same, and my y-axis is the same based on that amplitude. So pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. Cosine of 0 is 1. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. And cosine of 2 pi is 1. There is one full cosine curve. These are considered our parent functions that we're going to practice shifting in the next three examples. This first one does not have a phase shift or a vertical shift. So I just need to start with finding A, B, the period, and the X scale. So A, in this case, my amplitude is 3. B, the frequency, which is also the number in front of the X, is 2. The period is 2 pi over B. So 2 pi over 2 is pi. And then my X scale is the period over 4. So in this case, pi over 4. I'm graphing this thing from 0 to 2 pi. And based on my A, I need to label my y axes up to positive 3 and down to negative 3. So negative 3, positive 3. My x scale, I have to go 
pi over four units. So I'm graphing by one fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. If I need to get to two, I have to go all the way to eight fourths. So one over four, two over four, three over four, four over four, five over four, six over four, seven over four, eight over four. Not sure why I made that line so long. Let me erase that. This is a cosine function. So it starts at its maximum. And now I just go back and forth. I'm going to go three, zero, negative three, zero, three, zero, negative three. I just bounce back and forth between three and negative three and going to zero in between. These X scale, right? The way I just graphed this tells me how many points that I need to plot. So three, I move over one, zero. Move over one, negative three. Move over one, zero. Move over one, three, zero. Negative three, zero, three. And then I just connect. That's it. For number two, I have the graph y equals sine x plus two. So looking at this thing, I know that I'm going to have to take the graph of sine x and shift it up two units. This is a d value. I'm going to still pull out the same information that I did in number one. So a is one, b is one. The period is two pi. X scale is the period over four. So two pi over four is pi over two. My vertical shift, the D value, is two. So I'm gonna have to take all of this information and I'm gonna use that information to graph just sine x. After I graph sine x, I'm then going to shift that graph up two units. So when I graph sine x first, I'm gonna graph that in just one color. So I have an amplitude of one, negative one, my x scale is pi over two. So pi over two, pi, three pi over two, two pi. I'm graphing sine first. So that's gonna be zero, one, zero, negative one, zero. This isn't the graph that they wanted me to graph. This is just sine x. So I'm gonna label this y equals sine x. But now what I'm gonna do is shift this graph up two units. So all of the important points that I just plotted, I'm gonna just count boxes and move them up to units. So this one I have to move up one, two. Okay, so let me make that y-axis one unit higher. So that's gotta go up to two. And if this is one's gonna have to go up to two as well, I'm gonna need to go up to three. So this one goes up to units, one, two. Up to units, one, two. Up to units, one, two up to units one, two, and then up to units one, two, and then just connect. There we go. So that is the graph I was looking for, y equals sine x plus two. So whenever you have a trig graph that you have to shift, always graph the sine or cosine function using just a, b, the period, and the x scale so that you have just like your basic cosine x or sine x, and then regraph using the vertical shift. So this will be like your base graph or your parent function, and then use the C or the D values to either go up, down, left or right, depending on what's going on. And the next example, we're gonna do a phase shift, so we'll be moving left or right, rather than like we did up and down here. Number three, I'm gonna pull out the same information that I've been pulling out all along. So I'm gonna start with, a, the amplitude, which is two. B, the frequency, two. The period is two pi over B, so two pi over two is pi. My X scale is the period over four, so that's pi over four. I do not have a vertical shift here, I have a phase shift. My phase shift is equal to negative C over the absolute value of B. Negative C here is negative pi over two and b is two. So if I keep change flip, I have negative pi over two times one over two, that's negative pi over four. This tells me that once I graph a cosine curve that has an amplitude of two and a frequency of two. So once I graph cosine using just these four pieces of information, I'm then going to take that graph and move every point on that graph left pi over four units. This is telling me subtract pi over four on every x value to get the graph that I'm looking for. So let's graph the parent function first. My parent function has an amplitude of two, so I need to go to positive two and negative two on my y-axis. 
my X scale is pi over four. One over four, two over four, three over four, four over four, there's pi. Five over four, six over four, seven over four, eight over four, there's two pi. This is a cosine curve, so I start at the maximum and then I oscillate back and forth to zero, negative two, zero, two, zero, negative two, et cetera. So two, zero, negative two, zero, two, zero, negative two, zero, two. And then I'm gonna connect. So this is the graph of y equals two cosine two x. So that's not taking into account the phase shift, that left and right shift. Now what I'm gonna do is take this graph and subtract pi over four on every coordinate. So I'm moving this thing to the left pi over four units. My graph is going on an X scale of pi over four. So everything's just gonna move over one unit. From the zero, I'm just gonna add a negative pi over four here so I can shift that one point. So now my new graph is gonna be, I move this guy to the left one, this guy to the left one, left one, left one, left one, and then just connect. So that is the function y equals two cosine two x plus pi over two. For number four, when I see this function, I see that I have a phase shift from my c value, and I have a vertical shift from the d value. I'm gonna start by pulling out all the same information that I've been pulling out so far. So a is two, b is one half, C is negative pi over two. The period is two pi over B. So that's gonna be two pi times two, four pi. X scale is the period over four. So four pi over four is pi. My phase shift is negative C over the absolute value of B. C was negative pi over two, so it's gonna be pi over two over a half, which is pi over two times two, so that's pi. My vertical shift is one. I'm gonna begin by graphing a sine function that has an amplitude of two and a frequency of a half. I know that since I'm eventually gonna be shifting this thing up one, that I'm gonna need a maximum of three, so I'm gonna put three tick marks on my y-axis but I'm still only going to go down to, I might as well go down to negative three. My instructions here say from zero to three pi. So pi, two pi, three pi. Since I'm graphing a sine curve, I'm going to start at zero, zero. The amplitude of this function was two. So at my next x coordinate, I'm going to go up to two, down to zero, and then down to negative two. So I'm not even getting a full sine curve here, which makes sense. And that's going to be the graph of y equals 2 sine 1 half x. So that's not taking into account the phase shift or the vertical shift. What I'm going to do now is shift this graph. So I need to move every point that I just plotted, pi units to the right, and one unit up. So this point goes pi units to the right and one unit up. This point goes pi units to the right and one unit up pi units to the right, one unit up. And I only want it to go to three pi, so I can stop there. But I also need something for here. So if this is at one, so if I go to negative pi, if this was at zero, it would have been at negative two. So then if I shift that point, right pi and up one, I'm here. So there we go. That blue graph is now y equals two sine one half x minus pi over two plus one.